Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, and this time reviewing on Wonder Woman New 52, issue number 2. Now, as you know, this story, the story is basically what would happen if Clash of the Titans was mixed with Wonder Woman. So the cover you have Wonder Woman looking on of her dead sisters, well a version of Stary or something is looking on posing. And it starts off with Hera going, No! No, no, no! This won't do! What is it, Mother? You sound... depressed. And so Hera starts complaining in that, and decides to come up with a new plan on dealing with Wonder Woman and all that. So we basically have Wonder Woman taking Zola, as well as Hermes, to Paradise Island, Island, and her saying that it's a fate worse than death, and sort of saying, Hey, there's my home! I thought about leaving you there. And so they start to hear voices, and Wonder Woman knows that this is the Amazons, who say, Princess? And their designs literally look like a version of God of War, or kind of Comic-Con look. And you're also introduced to the New 52 of version of Queen Apollo. -er. Now, fun fact, during the event of the New 52, it was revealed that it's mainly a dream and illusions, meaning that the real Apollo -er is somewhere around in the DC Rebirth, while this one is meant to be more of, a, more of an illusion and basically based on the kind of new, on the kind of original version of blonde hair. So, we basically see Apollo and Wonder Woman talking, and basically talking about what's been going on in that. So, meanwhile, Zola and Hermes are talking, and asked, like, what form did Zeus use to seduce her? She says, a truck driver, or a pool hustler, he could have been a band. I hope he was that guy. And so, he, she pointed out that she likes men, and that's kind of her downfall. And Hermes points out about Wonder Woman's origin. Now, fun fact is that if you have read the New 52, this origin is a lie, and her real origin is her being the daughter of Zeus and Apollo, which works much better because she's not a creation, but mostly a child born from Apollo. And she says, that's weird. Most legends are. And so you've got Arika, who's basically the new 52 version of Artemis, wanting to challenge Wonder Woman, and they both challenge themselves on stone pillars, where it becomes a kind of standard battle, and Wonder Woman basically winning, and basically becoming the victor, until something happens. And we're introduced to Stercy, who uses her ability to basically try and kill off the Amazons. And one by one falling. And Arika's like, we are surrounded, sisters. These warriors are like nothing we've ever faced. And so just then it turns out they've been killing themselves. And Cersei, or Stercy has been using her abilities against them. So Wonder Woman uses her lasso to tie around her and says, Ouch! And here, all I wish for is to embrace my sister. You assault that moat. All carries a girl child. So she points out, saying, No, Wonder Woman, I speak of you. And basically, this is going to be like Wonder Woman learning about her origins and where she's really from. So, the second issue isn't too bad. I would say it does kind of give you a glimpse on what, what Wonder Woman really is. And the story feels interesting because we have Hera as the New 52 version of Cersei. And we've also got Cersei as the New 52 version of Giganta mixed with Ares. So the story deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic reviewer here. 
signing out and wishing you all a St. Patrick's Day.